Box Glasgow is one of the busiest live music venues and nightclubs on Sucky Hall Street. Open every night till 3am and is always free entry. We had a unique opportunity to look behind the scenes, following some of the vibrant staff to see what has made them such a success. A key member of the team is General Manager Chris. Hiya, I'm Chris. I've been the manager at Box for about six years now. Um, things are going great. Uh, we've got really successful band nights. We're open till three o'clock every morning. We're always packed. We've got cheap drink and everybody seems to love the place. And we've got some interviews lined up today. Um, one in particular that looks like it would fit in perfectly here. I can't get a job. I can't get a job anywhere. I've tried the butchers. I've tried the paper shop. I don't know what else to do. That's me. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm going to, going to last. I need a job, man. I'm desperate. Box are always looking for unique staff to add to the customer experience. Here, Chris puts ex-wrestler Grado through the vigorous interview process. It's yourself. Hey, brother. I'm Grado. Hi, I'm. How you doing, man? You all right? Ah! Hey! Ah! They don't want to leave, man. That's plenty. Shit, man. Just get up. How you doing, me, man? You all right? Paul, pleased to meet you. I'm Grado. I'm for a job interview. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great to meet you. All right, I can. How you doing? So, do you prefer Graham or Grado? I, anyone, whatever you want. I've got it tattooed on me, so Grado's probably better. I'm at a job, basically. Um, I was a wrestler. Um, <laughs> I'm a wrestler. Yeah, it's just, mate, I'm a wrestler, I'm a real wrestler. You don't know who I am? Who? This is no. your, this is your Terry. Terry who? I'm not Terry, I'm Hulk Hogan. Are you Nick? I've met Hulk Hogan, you're not Hulk Hogan. So this is my wee brother, this is Terry. He's your wee brother? Him. Goes by the name of Hulk. Uh, he's our bar manager and he's going to have a huge role in whether or not you get this job. Right. Okay, well, so I've got the biggest role you've ever seen. I bet you have. Like that. They're big. Big boys, you're a big lumpy boy. Stop looking at my pythons. 18 inch pythons. 18? Right. Christ, they're catching up with me. Right, so Gredo, um, can you tell me a time when uh, you've had to help someone who's been maybe in a bit of trouble? <coughs> well, when I had to help somebody, probably when my mate was in the, the wrestling ring, he was getting off of doing, so I just decided to pick up a chair backstage, ran down the ring, and the ring's going to the other, other country, because basically you stick up for your pals, don't you? You've got to help everybody. It's a bit like in here. You know what I mean? If any user getting jipped off customers and that, I'll be, there, I'll be, there, I'll be ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm with you. We tend not to use violence against our customers, that's what I'm doing when I'm for Graham. Aye, that's fine. That's, that's great, that's a great answer. Um, can you tell me what you would consider to be your biggest strengths and weaknesses? Right, well, strengths, I'm good at drawing and I'm good at staying within the lines when I'm doing colouring in that. That's one of the main things that I'm good at. I've always been taught that ever since I was at school and that. And obviously, a lot of people get into bar work because of kind of stock gap. We do have a bit of a big turnover of staff in here from time to time. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years is a long time. I'm not really thought that far. I don't even know what I'm going to do next week. Not well, I've thought that far, brother. WrestleMania 35. Shut up. You go to WrestleMania, are you? I'm going to WrestleMania, brother. As a fan? No, not as a fan. I'm going as a wrestler. I'm mate. booked, brother. No, I'm going to be. I'm going to this Don't slap my table. I'm going to this brother. Oh, it's my heart. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Can't you? What you've told us today so far is fantastic, and being that you're the only applicant, what we're going to do is we're going to bring you in for a trial run. Right. How does Monday afternoon sound? Monday's all right. Don't get me wrong. The wrestling's on to about five o'clock in the morning, so I'll probably not get to my bed till about. Well, I'll it's no longer after it finishes, so be, I'll probably be, I'll, I'll be heavy duty tired than that, but I'll, I'll make it up there. Say hello to your trainer. He's my trainer? Yeah, brother. Right, cool. Sound. It's I'm nice there. to meet you, Gregor. I'll see you <clears> in Monday. Get an early the night, take your vitamins and say your oh, prayers. Shut up, yeah, daft, yeah. Wait, Jane, you call me a dafty? So, what do you think, Kel? Uh, what do you remember a staff then? Well, he's no macho man, but he might be the warrior. Well, who is a macho man? I'm a macho man.
With customers, bands and major celebrities coming through their doors, everything is done differently at Box. The staff need to be prepared for any situation. Terry's trademark training has earned multiple awards in the industry, but Grado and Terry are struggling to see eye to eye. Hi, that Terry guy, what's he done? Oh, what an absolute moon man. See the way he's jumping about dressed like Hulk Hogan? What dafty does that? And you want to see the nickel behind the bar where he's always doing his weights with the pints of milk and cans of Guinness, everything like that. What an absolute tosser. See if, see if the, the gaffer's in here can't hoff the shit he does. I mean, he's in here nearly all, every day, wrecked. Out he's been, he tries to say he's taking vitamins, but he's clearly fucking putting shit up his beak. It's obvious, man. <laughs> okay, brother, now do you know how to pull a pint? Of course I can help you pull a pint in Tell me how to man. pull a pint. Easy, mate. can do that, man. What does a pint in Brother, that's not how you pour a pint. Well, I, 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 it's not that hard to do it. Let's see you, mate. Done, there you go. <laughs> you might see the nickel behind that bar with the cocktails. Can you think he'd fucking, you think he was Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise at a talking, a cock, a cock, a uh, the fuck's it called again? Cocktail! No, it's no cocktail, is it? Aye. Let me tell you something, brother. You know the cocktails I came up with? They're amazing. They're, wor they're worthy of WrestleMania main event. They could beat they could beat The Rock, they could beat Stone Cold Steve Austin, but they could never beat Hulkamania, brother. Ooh! Now, first of all, we need one of these glasses. Oh, uh, we need one of, one of these glasses. Catch that there, okay? Next time, we'll some milk. Uh -huh. Everyone loves milk, brother. Hi, from up to see up here, see for your vitamins. God, shall fucking get some of that in there. What else we got? Well, watch out! Here comes. Oh, Carry me on, man. Give me that pack. Give me that pack. Right. Here's what I learned in Nam. Get that in there. It's not even open. Bosh! Some of that. That's quite good. What else you got? That's quite good. Give me some nuts, brother. Nuts. Get some vitamin nuts. Come on, keep up. Some of that. Give me that pack. Yeah. That's how strong I am, brother. Get some of that in there. What else we got? Everybody loves Guinness. You want some Guinness? Ooh, sha. You like that, brother? Get a neck, brother. Here's some of that. Right over here now. Get rid of that one. That one, that's the one we need. Get that around there and then just poke it right in the middle, brother. Poke it hard. Like Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, man, she's deep. I don't care. <laughs> Not brother. Boys, it's heat, brother. I love a bit of heat. Feel the heat coming off this lighter. There you go, brother. You know what I call that? That's vitamin H for Hulk Hogan. Now drink some of your vitamins, I'm brother. That. Drink your vitamins. No, I'm not drinking Take that. that fucking thing out. Drink your vitamins. No, I'm not drinking that. Drink it all. I'll burn you alive. I'm gonna have an inferno match right here, brother. Drink that fucking thing. Taste your vitamins. I'll set you on fire. Yeah, brother! <laughs> you like that? That's good, isn't it? That's good vitamins! Taste the vitamins! Say your prayers, brother! It's the weekend and customers are flooding in. Teddy has failed to show up for work and Grado is letting his training shine through. What a... Mate, cash only, mate! I, I can't, it's not to me, mate! It's cash only, for fuck's sake! And then there. even there, turned up and where's he, nowhere to be seen, there's about 100 folk at the bar, I'm getting mega stressed out, run back and for it, pinting, fucking dropping Guinness everywhere, dropping cocktails, everything, making an absolute ass of myself, pure stressed out in my bin, he wasn't even there man, prick! The hardest thing about Chris's job is disciplining staff, made even harder when it's family. Terry, I can't believe we're here again. Well, I can brother. How many times is this? Is this the fifth time? Many times in what? I've headlined WrestleMania three, four times. I'm not talking about headlining WrestleMania. What Terry, are you talking about, brother? Terry, I'm talking about you turning up for your work. Half, I'm here, aren't half I? Half cut. I'm not half cut, I'm full cut. Full cut? Yeah, look at these guns, brother. 
Why are you four hours late for your shift? Last night, some guy gave me some vitamins and then I blacked out. Blacked out? Vitamins again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, I love my vitamins. At least five a day, that's what they say. It's vitamins. You know it's vitamins, don't you? No, it's vitamins. I'm pretty sure. Vitamins. Okay. Listen, Terry, you're my brother and I love you. I love you, brother. But, this is the last warning. We've got a person there that's waiting to take your spot in the main event. You can't take Hulkamania's spot in the main event? He's shite! You know, Big Vinny just had a talk with me there. He said the vitamins are getting in the way. Uh, he said I should cut down, and uh, you know, I agree with him. Uh, they're, they're, they're stopping me from coming to the work, and uh, you know what? I can get clean, brother. If Jake the Snake can get clean, Hulkamania can get clean. Chris shows great management skills helping staff to work through their issues. Let's hope Terry doesn't let him down. But Chris has superiors to report to and head office are calling to do their quarterly evaluation. It's Jimmy for head office. Um, he's going to come down and give us an evaluation. I'm not worried at all because obviously the place is pulling in punters and money hand over fist. I'm just worried about Terry. Aye, so the gaffers asked us to come in and give us ideas for the booze and all that. See me, I'm full of ideas. I'm coming out with ideas left, right, left, right and centre. <laughs> The day I was, a I was the first man to come up with chips and cheese. It was me, a grater, a, a block of cheese, out of the chips. That was me and all the kebab shops, they all stole it. Every fucking one of Jimmy, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you again. Good job, mate, mate. This is Grado and of course you know Terry. Oh, come here, brother. Good man, Terry. Yeah. Hey, guys. Jimmy's here uh, for the reason that we're looking to get, bring some more revenue into the bar. Like I said uh, earlier on today, you guys know the clientele better than anybody. Right. What do you think? Well, I got an idea. If you want to print more money, I can jump down to Dixon's, buy a copier, Bob's your uncle. Well, print money? <coughs> yeah. You stupid? No. You stupid? See, that? that's the shit he's brought me. Try to print money? It's a good idea, Terry. It's a good idea. He's but... wanting to get you to jail. You and all, big game. Is What's your idea then? Well, if I had a donkey riding the bowser, maybe I mean, you get bucking broncos and that, but what? you don't actually. A, a donkey? I don't know what a donkey is. Aye, it's a donkey. It's, it's, a, a, it's, like, a, it's like a horse, it's, a, it's got a longer tail. Like, what the fuck's a donkey? Get him a donkey running around in here, there's shit everywhere. I mean, it doesn't matter, man. There's, there's shit around here every time. Yeah, it's human shit, but not donkey shit. Aye, but donkey shit doesn't smell. Well, in that case, they're good. Ouija, get donkeys donkey. in here. I'll phone the guy the now. Despite obvious innovation in their ideas, there are cracks showing in the team and it's affecting productivity. Right, trial by fire. Do me a favour. I want to change a cake. Right, Nate, I'll get it. 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 What, brother? Well, right, mate, I don't care what I can't. Is that a, is a what? A keg? A keg? I, I could just basically change my kegs, man. I don't know, mate. I don't know if it, I don't know how that's what it means. He's got to go off his nut, man. I've done that shit. I don't still even know what it means, my keg, man. I don't know what a keg is, man. Focus. I'm not focusing, man. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know what you need to be changing kegs. I don't know what a keg is. That's a fucking <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Embarrassing it for your fucking man for the head office. Get it fucking changed and get it changed now. Fuck's sake. Brother, it's too tight. It's too tight. Let go. Let go, but be careful. Watch my bandana. Okay, and then I could put that move on. I could turn around and then put that move on. And then full Nelson! Oh, yeah! Full Nelson! Oh. Oh fuck, I still got my mouth. Do you give? Come on, do you give? Oh, come on, man, I ask yeah. him. Let me go, man, ask him. Yeah. What's up, my fucking chick? Ask him. What's up, my mercy? Hey, come on in my office, it's vitamin time. Oh, someone's in. Hello, brother. Hello. Who's that? I'm coming in. What? What are you doing? A shit. Yeah, but it's, it's vitamin time, I gotta take vitamins. Okay. You gonna be long? A couple of minutes. Well, I'll wait here. I'll wait here. I'll just squat in the doorway then. One. You wanna hit? Two. Just say it, brother. Three. I got enough for everyone. Four. Where are you going? Brother. 
All right, I'll take it myself. In the eyelid. Join us next week on the box. Terry, get some bad news. We have to let you go. Why, brother? Because you're dressed like Hulk Hogan. Because I am Hulk Hogan. You can't let Hulk Hogan go. Hulk Hogan and Hulk Hogan will live forever, brother. I have your passport. You're fired. Right, honestly, just one more chance, please. Like, I'll, I'll stop wearing the t-shirt. I'll, I'll, I'll stop taking all the, the, the sweeties, all the eggies, the, the, the vitamins. Um, I'll say my prayers. Just one more chance, please. No, you're out. Over the top rope. Goodbye. And Grado get some great news. Grado, welcome to the management team. Donkeys. Fucking genius. And Chris's life changes forever. Time's come for me to leave Box. I'm going to hand in my notice now. Because in an ironic turn of events, I've been booked for WrestleMania. 6 a.m. The drunk and broke. All you want to do is just head on home. Hang about. Think again. Well, the spoon starts to be that tan. It's like your whole street. 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 Don't know who you'll be, oh, on Saga House Street.